Hi you guys, just a quick tutorial on the Spy Crusher Spy Camera Sunglasses. Just want to do a quick product demonstration for you guys so you'll know how to properly operate your purchase. As you see here I have a set, a pair of uh, the Spy Crusher's uh, sunglasses, Spy Camera Sunglasses right here. They've been charging, connected to my uh, PC using the included uh, Micro 2.0 USB uh, cable. Just a quick overview of the product itself. Here, uh, right in front, is the lens. You guys can see that. At the lens right here, I'll try to zoom in a little bit. So right here we have the camera lens. Inside, um, mode switch. It switches through the various modes of video recording, photo taking, audio only recording. And I'll show you that as I go through uh, the demonstration. On and off switch here, light indicator here, status indicator. As you can see now, it's a uh, solid red because it's charging. I had already charged it up, so when it's when it needs to be charged or it's charging, actually charging, uh, this light will probably be blinking red. It'll it'll blink red, and when it's fully charged, you should see a solid red light. However, if it continues to blink after charging for at least uh, three to four hours, five hours, uh, you, you can feel free to disconnect uh, the charging and use it as normal. Uh, the USB port here, micro SD card slot here, of course on this side is also the mic. So, uh, the USB cable connects here, right in there, micro SD card goes there, right in there in this slot. And I'll show you that does it with regards to um, the product itself. Uh, let's go through some operation. So, first thing you want to do is take your micro SD card. Your uh, I have a class six eight gig here. Class six eight gig micro SD card going to insert it into here, right in the micro SD card slot. I'm going to insert the chip right here, contacts face up towards the face up, right into the slot. Now the card is inserted. Now the car is inserted and ready for use. So, after the end step, after the card is inserted, you have the uh, micro SD card inserted. When you turn it on the device, it goes from blue to red, solid red. You're now in recording mode. You're ready to record video. So to record video, press the power button, the on off button once. Red light is blinking, indicating that it is now recording video. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Video is being recorded. To stop the video, just press once. To change from video mode to photos, press once on the mode bar, on the mode button. Status indicating light will go from red to blue. Now you can take photos. To take photos, just press the on off button once. Photo has been taken. See it? When it blinks, means a photo has been taken. Press it again. Press it again. That's a photo. Now, to change from Again, 
use the mode switch to change to record audio only mode. Press that once. Now you have the blue and red light combined to show like a purplish kind of uh, glow and you are now ready to record audio only. To start recording audio only, press the on off switch one time. When the status light starts to blink, you are now recording audio only. To stop recording audio only, press the on and off button. So again, status, indicator, mode switch, on off button, SD card, mic. The change between modes, recording, red light, on off switch to start and stop, Flow photos, blue light, press on and off switch to take pictures, as many as you like, as far as your SD card is concerned. Blue, green, blue and red light, audio only mode. To start and stop audio only recording, press on and off button. And that is pretty much it. And then you connect your Try to show you this. Show you a little bit. Connect to your computer to view the content. As you can see here, it populated on my screen. I have photos here, all in photos, audio recordings, and the videos that we took. So we go through the photos. Uh, photos are 16 by 1600 by 1200. We'll just lower that to 50% so you guys can see it. So that was a photo of the wall. Um, actually, took, and this was a photo of me taking photos. So I got all my photos here. This is a photo of me, but uh, can't really see it because uh, it has the date and time stamp. Of course, you see 2016 5th, uh, May 25th. The time is in military time, so 24 hour clock. This reads uh, 2 23 p.m. If you can see that right there on the military time, as far as the date and time stamp goes, that's that. The photos. So you can out photos, go back here, you can go here, here are your recording, Time stamp to change the date and time stamp, just open it 
and you can adjust it as easy as just changing the current, the, the date that's currently there to the date you want. So you open the, the file, 2016, month is the same, day is the 25th, time, again, it's on a military clock, so it's currently 311, so that's 13, 11, and we'll just leave it at, say, 20 seconds. You go, and go to file, save, and exit. And that saves your date and time stamp for any more recordings or videos uh, and pictures that you will take. You guys got any? So that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, one last thing. Uh, to operate as a webcam, to turn your glasses into a webcam, while they are connected to your PC, because it's for PC only, while they're connected to your PC, press the power button, the on-off button here, and it will convert your sunglasses lens camera to a webcam that you can use online. So I have a... Uh, so my Skype pulled up, I just press the on-off button, and now my sunglasses are, have, have been converted to a webcam. which you can see here. So, place my sunglasses right up there, and I can use them as a video webcam on Skype. And that's just by pressing the button. Once connected to your PC, you can connect. Um, you press the on-off switch, and it converts to a PC webcam. To disconnect, of course, you just press the on off switch again and it will go back to a storage file for your video to take to use as uh, to uh, store your video fitting videos, photos, and audio recordings. And that is uh, pretty much it. So, using it as a webcam, as you can see, um, and that's pretty much it. You guys have any questions or need any other additional help, uh, you can feel free to contact talk, talk, us at uh, info at spycrushers.com. Thanks for watching.